Perfect. Good morning, everybody. My name is Gloria Gomez. I am a bedside nurse in the cardiac cardiopediatric service at the National Cardiovascular Institute in Lima, Peru. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to present uh, this here at the PC, um, PCSI from India. Thank you to the organizers for the gentle uh, invitation. I was asked to talk about my nursing experience and perspective, and I prepared a big resume of a big quantity of information. Um, whatever, uh, I hope you, you will enjoy it. I will be talking about my cardiac unit nursing training and main challenges I face in my country. I have no disclosures today. Um, this is the cardiopediatric service at INCOR, which is um, maybe with her, with he, with his. this is here in this in the is located in South America for the ones who don't know where where's my country and we are located in Lima, the capital of, of Peru. Uh, we recently have our Joint Commission International Certification, which made us very happy and uh, it's a great challenge to have this certificate because it uh, allow us to be, to be uh, able to take care in a better, in a better way of our patients. Um, we have 10 uh, beds for the intermediate care, 12 for the floor, which are the, ba the babies who come from their homes and the ones who are ready to uh, discharge. We have four NICU beds and two OR uh, beds four cat lab beds, and finally we have our 10 ICU beds. INCOR was created on 1992, and today we are the greatest developed and innovation health center in cardiology and cardiovascular surgery in Peru. Um, our pediatric cardiac ICU at INCOR has two hours and performs around 200 surgeries per year, and the average mortality is 8%. And our uh, human resources were uh, about 110 nurses, uh, 15 pediatric cardiologists, 11 pediatric ICU physicians, five and five neonatologists. And since 2021, we are able to perform RAJ risk category six uh, cardiac hair heart uh, defect patients. So in course a decentralized body of SLU that provides health benefits correspond to the third level of care of high specialized to the insurance population uh, reference uh, in Peru. Our population is about th 33 million and our congenital heart defects patients represent 30% of the total uh, cardiopathies population. And according to international standards, we were supposed to have at least seven surgery uh, resolution centers. But unfortunately, we just have two in Peru and in core is one of those. Another main problem is that Lima, which is the capital of 24 departments, has all, is a, is the only one place that can do heart surgeries. So all of our, our patients have to fly, fly from all over the country to have their definitely repairs. Uh, about how can a nurse can become a cardiac ICU in Peru, but it, it's basically kind of more than seven years. We study five years of pre grade at the university. And then in the fifth, in the fifth year, we do our clinical internship. After that, we got our academic degree as bachelor nursing. And then we present a thesis and we can have our professional title as licensed in nursing. After that, we have to take one year called Serum, which is a rural and urban marginal health service. And after that, every nurse decides what, which specialty wants to uh, follow. I finally choose to be a neonatal a cardiac nurse. And it took me two years in a post-grade university, but uh, also in, in the main two hospitals ask for uh, pediatric ICU neonatal of car or cardiovascular ICU nurses. Um, 
any of those three specialties are able to take care of cardiac heart patients. And, re and then finally, if you study all those eight years, you are able to apply for a job in the social security or in the public uh, institute, which is the health um, institute, the Children's National Health Institute. But I finally, I really consider my cardiac ICU nursing training was in Rich Eyes with the amazing opportunity I had in 2019 in the observership to the uh, CICU at Boston Children's Hospital, where I also met the fabulous work of Anna Fisk uh, has been developing. I believe close looking at their high quality and security uh, nursing care or an, an organization gave me the motivation and knowledge to improve my care and bring back that model back home in favor of better outcomes for our Peruvian congenital heart disease children. Um, talking about the nursing challenges I face in my country was really a challenge for me because in my country is not a common uh, topic we speak in an international conference, but through the development of today's agenda, I understand that as nurses from other um, from all over the world, differently from other fields or careers, we probably have the same issues, but uh, more important than this is the desire to improve from the butterflies where we have to fly to care the best of our patient. So in resume, uh, here are my main <laughs> nursing challenges. Uh, we definitely have a nursing burnout because of overload of work. And this has increased because of COVID um, status and COVID um, situation all over the world. Uh, we have a lack of teamwork approach. Uh, it's probably not only uh, related with what I can do or, or what my chief can do. It's a uh, multidisciplinary improvement and commitment, commitment that we don't really have uh, uh, today. And also we have a lack of family and lactation support program because of COVID-19 restrictions. Uh, our parents are not allowed to be the whole time with their baby, but we are looking forward and we are fighting to make it possible again. We have no training programs from new hired nurses. Um, and we hope someday we can create a target, a target inter education program from there for them. We have an absence of organized discharge and follow-up patients. And I highlighted this in red because this is what since I came from Boston, this is what I was working in. And uh, finally, I can say today what, that we have a lot of um, outcomes, best, better outcomes than before. We prepare a lot of education material for them. And we are, and finally, our uh, authorities understand the importance of nursing education and they have given us um, virtual sessions to talk about parents before and after surgeries, which makes me uh, uh, very happy about that. Uh, we, we, have, we need to uh, improve our evidence-based cares of nursing practices. Um, we don't really have a mentoring culture we need a pediatric cardiologist rehabilitation program, but uh, we understand that while COVID is still a problem, we can't have it yet. And we definitely need uh, a nursing care database and research. Hope so someday we can finally have it. In my country, nursing uh, research is not as common. We, there are just a few nurses uh, doing research and finally, uh, which is one of the biggest problems, is that young nurses, is young nurses the motivation because of lack of support and experience opportunity. And what we uh, would love to have is the same opportunity for junior and senior nurses. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. So